Hey, what's going on today, guys? We are going to talk about how you can do keyword research totally for free without spending a dime. And it's a big deal because keyword research tools can cost a lot of money. I'm paying $100 a month right now for SEM Rush, and it ain't cheap. So I understand that a lot of people are on a budget. Maybe they don't need to do keyword research all that often. In that case, I definitely suggest using Google. Uh, the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. Now, this tool's come a long way over the past several years. It used to be really good for finding keywords, but then Google kind of tinkered with it and made it very AdWords specific. So if you're just doing SEO, it, it wasn't very good for that. But now they've tweaked it back a little bit, and it, once again, is pretty good for SEO. Uh, so what you do is you have to have an AdWords account. And um, I guess I should go back here. So this is the main AdWords page if you have an AdWords account. And it's pretty easy to create one if you have a Google account already. Um, what you'll do is you'll hit the wrench here under tools, hit keyword planner, and here you'll have a box where you can enter keywords or you can enter a URL if you're trying to look for uh, keywords that a, UR, a current URL is ranking for. So it's kind of useful for both things. Um, like let's say we're doing affiliate marketing and we want to look at eBay. Uh, we want to see what keywords eBay is ranking for so we get ideas for certain niches to get into. So what we do is we go ebay.com, search entire site, and get started. And it's going to take a minute, but it's going to pull up a huge ginormous list of keywords. Now one trick that I, I just got from a video I saw with Josh Bachinski where he's talking about how to find profitable niches for affiliate marketing. Um, that's how I came up with this idea. Um, <laughs> but what he suggested doing was to go here underneath the date range and you can see it's set up for the last 12 months. We're gonna want to change that for just this past month. So we hit last month. So this is gonna show us the the accurate volume for these keywords for the month of March. So now we know truly how popular how popular they are at this point in time. So what you want to do is uh, you want to go up here and you'll just hit download keyword ideas. Right? Couldn't be easier. Just hit download keyword keyword ideas. You'll see it's preparing report, downloading report. It's going to show up right down here. Boom. It's going to be an Excel spreadsheet. So you have to have Excel, I'm assuming you do. And here you go. So now we have all these keywords from Google Keyword Planner. And the nice thing is, I don't know how useful these stats are, but it gives us a minimum search volume. So this is the lowest amount of searches you'll expect per month. I guess it's given an annual trend, I would imagine. And then the maximum number you'll expect each month. So I would rely more on this high end and less on this. Uh, and then we also have the bid prices. So if you're going to do AdWords, and actually this is good for SEO too. It shows us commercial value uh, for a keyword. So if, like if you're doing affiliate marketing and you're looking for keywords to go in for, to for a niche, you want to look at the top of page bid, the high range, and see kind of what the overall commercial potential is for that key term. And you can see like $5.22, uh, that keyword has upwards of a thousand max searches that's twin full bunk bed wood so yeah the, the sleep niche is a really big one uh, that's one thing I've noticed from doing all these exhaustive researches I use I don't just do eBay I do amazon.com I do all the sort of e-commerce sites and just look up the keywords that they're ranking for because you can you can get a lot of insight into what people want and what they need you can also use it for YouTube I use it sometimes for YouTube uh, before I make a video just to kind of see what terms people are typing in um, and what videos they're clicking on. Mostly it shows you what videos are showing on the front page of Google. Because when YouTube's ranking for a keyword, that means the video is, is on the first page of Google, typically. So you can get good insights for what's working and what you could possibly outdo and, and rank ahead of, which is ideal, right? So here, yeah, again, like there's plenty of options here if you just sort through these. There's a lot of ways to, to formulate this and 
you can type in some formulas within Excel to kind of give you a better indication of what is the best commercial value. Um, but anyway, and you can of course do this. I did this for a domain. In this case, I did site site colon eBay. But you can do if you're just looking for keywords in general. Like say you're running a like a pool cleaning business, and you know just look up pool cleaning uh, Los Angeles. You know, uh, let's try Los Angeles pool cleaning too, just to get a little variation there. And I mean, this could even be good for if you're trying to start a lead gen site, you know, paper lead site, like above ground pools. Wow. Okay. That's huge, huge search volume, huge, you know, huge search volume. Got it. Um, and then pool cleaning Los Angeles. Okay. Interesting CPC 526. So there's commercial value there. So it might be a good niche to go into. Anyway, there's a lot you can do with it, but mostly it's just exciting to see Google is finally giving Keyword Planner the the love it deserves. Because this used to be a great tool. When I first started into SEO, I used it all the time because it's free. Um, but you know, over time, people were saying like, oh, the search volumes are off. They're catering more towards AdWords campaigns. And they were. I think it, it was pretty obvious they were. And now it looks like they're starting to rein it in a little bit and, and give this to us. So I, I encourage all you guys to go out and use this. It's a great gift. Just go to adwords.google.com, create your account, go into the keyword planner, start typing away. That's all I got for you today. Uh, thanks a lot. Please subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Um, I really want to grow this and, and uh, try to encourage people out there who are doing their stuff online. I'm not one of these make money online guys, but I, I do like to talk about this stuff and I want to help people. Um, I want to help you as much as I can. So go ahead, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.